Mm. Hello. Mm, is that real or am I still dreaming? I don't know and I don't care. Mm. As long as it doesn't stop. Mm. We do have all day today, don't we? Mm-hmm. And a whole other night. Mm. Oh, I love it. I'm incredible. <laughs> I hope it's very early in the morning. I haven't looked at a clock. Good, good. Don't, don't. No clocks or watches at all today. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. and then maybe the time won't go back? Uh-huh, that's right. That's right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling it's a beautiful day out there. Am I right or what? It is perfect. Not a cloud in the sky. Mm -hmm. Great. I'll tell you what. When the sun's about mm, just overhead, then mm -hmm. and only then will I call into the office. Otherwise, we're on a desert island. Mm, I have to check in, too. But there is no work. I can't wait until tomorrow. Oh, good. Oh, Frank. Mm. Do you think we'll ever have this every day? Yes, yes, and soon, too. I told you, I'm going to marry you. Mm. I'm really beginning to believe that that can happen. Mm. Jill Coleridge Ryan. Oh, my darling. Four years, and you, you never allowed yourself to hope, but now I want you to. It's safe. Oh, Frank, it's safe here. But back in the city... Shh, don't worry. The divorce is underway. It won't be long before we're safe everywhere. In the meantime... You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I do. No, no, no. I was thinking. You see, if I love you and I touch you enough in this little piece of time, then when I get back into the city, that could last for months and I can be strong and careful there. Hmm. You're talking about an awful lot of love in there, kid. Mm, an awful lot. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Bernie, I did exactly what you told me to do. Yeah, I tried to get evidence on Frank and Jill. Yeah, right at the office. Only, only I couldn't because Frank walked in as soon as I got there. I'll tell you something, Miss Bernie, it must have been my lucky night. Because the phone rang right before he came into the inner office. Yeah, yeah, it was her. Well, he hung up and then he left. Yeah. See, he doesn't know that I know that he planned to go away. Not too far away. No, they're out at the beach house, and they'll be there till tomorrow. So I was thinking that maybe I would go there tonight, just around bedtime. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I remember about the witness. Yeah, uh, I was just wondering, would it be okay if Frank's brother came along with me? Yeah, well, he's very close to Frank, but basically I think he's on my side. Good. Okay, thank you. Miss Bernie, I have a feeling after tonight, I'm going to have enough ammunition for a real war. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Jane. I'm Erica Kane. This week. You have no life, so you had to steal mine? It's not just who finds out first. Oh my God, you're fake. It's what he plans to do about it. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. <laughs> you will never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Can Die, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have the summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Down. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome.
awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiet. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned to eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food. One week of weight loss. One week of success. Free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. Come on in. How are you this morning? I'm still in one piece, in case you were worried. No, of course not. Alex, I'm really sorry about last oh. night. Jack and I don't usually fight in front of our friends. Look, it's different in front of an old army buddy. You can fight in front of me any time you want. Honestly, I wasn't upset. Or surprised, knowing Jack. Actually, I was going to stay around to the bitter end, but I didn't want to be in the way when you two got ready to kiss and make up. <laughs> Optimist. <laughs> Come on, sit down. So tell me, what happened? Who won? Or was it a split decision? Well, I'm afraid we both lost. Jack ended up packing a bag early this morning and storming off to his assignment in Washington. And I spent the night wondering how he managed to keep taking so many wrong turns. Now look, you've got a great thing going, and no one fight is gonna spoil it. Well, how about one fight every day? Day after day. <laughs> nope. Would you mind telling me what makes you so confident about my marriage? I guess it must be the change in Jack. Now, you may not realize how much he's mellowed. Mellowed? You mean he used to be worse? Look, I grew up around a good many Tennessee mules. But when I met Jack in Vietnam, he was hands down the most stubborn, uncompromising creature I had ever come across. No, really, once Jack uh, put his mind to something, he'd fight anybody who got in his way. And not just a quiet little fight like the one you had last night. What'd he do, beat up people? Well, now and then. <laughs> But Jack was at his best uh, with a more uh, dramatic sort of violence. <laughs> well, for instance, for instance, he, uh, <laughs> he once did this story about conditions at a, a big orphanage outside of Saigon. Well, he was so outraged by the way those kids had to live that he went to bat for them with the government. I don't think the official that he talked to will soon forget the name Finelli. Well, when Jack couldn't argue with the guy any longer, he just blew up started dumping his files. You know, whole drawer fulls all over the place. <laughs> yes, I can see him. <laughs> Once he totaled this guy's office, he just found another room full of filing cabinets. And then he was arrested. No, no, but the, uh, the government did make an unofficial request for his removal to the States. <laughs> and, and they did make large deliveries of rice and blankets and clothing uh, to the orphanage. Well, God bless him for helping those children. God help him if he thinks I'm going to put up with those tactics. Well, obviously, he knows you won't. But what is so amazing is that he loves you enough that he's willing to tone down and make some compromises. Now, five years ago, Jack wouldn't have done that for anybody. Well, believe me, the compromises do not come easily. Everyone has been an event. I believe you. But your relationship is, what, a year old now? Mm. And instead of walking away, he's married you. Now, it, it absolutely knocks me out to see the change in him. You think there's hope, huh? I think you've got a small miracle on your hands. It's nice to hear. It's very nice. Because I married him believing a small miracle was possible. You know Jack was an orphan. Mm. Well, starting with his mother, every woman he's ever loved has deserted him. But not me. It's the job I've taken on, for better or worse, is to make him understand 
but I'll stay with him always. When he realizes that, when he trusts me, I think we'll have a beautiful marriage. You know, I'm sure you will. So am I, I think. Lately, I've felt more like a gambler than a miracle worker. That's why it's good to hear your point of view. Now, you should be very pleased with Jack and with yourself. And whatever it is you're doing, it obviously works. Basically, I'm, I'm loving him. Also trying to control my temper and keep mm. foot out of mouth. Yeah, that must be hard work. But I'm betting it pays off. And what I'm, I'm really pleased about is that Jack's finally found someone who won't give up on him. I did let him go off to Washington alone and angry. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think I better give him a call. Well, this has been very good for me. Listen, we'll all get together when Jack gets back, okay? I'd love it. We'll see if we can manage a long, peaceful evening this time. I look forward to that. You take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. You over here. I'm treating myself to real coffee. <laughs> I've got a break, too. You want some? Uh, no. Thanks. Tell me something. What's your feeling about country clubs? Hmm. Depends on the country. <laughs> this country. About an hour away. Terribly elegant. Now wait. They'll be dancing on the patio in the moonlight. Champagne all over the place and a midnight buffet with things like salmon mousse and pate baked in pastry crust. Interested? What is this? Pat, are you interested in the evening I've just described? Well, uh, everybody likes to eat. It's a date, then. A date? I thought you were setting me up to buy a raffle ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not raffling off this particular party. I'm inviting you to go with me. No tickets required. The County Medical Society requests the honor of your presence at the annual fall dinner dance. Daddy was an officer for years. Black tie. Faith, I don't own a tux. <laughs> Nobody does. You rent one. Listen, it's fun to get dressed up once in a while, and, and we can just go and have a good time. And we don't have to go down the reception line and shake hands with all the big shots. We'll just forget about work for a change. Go on, now you're tempting me. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, an occasional night out is necessary for one's mental health. Oh. Think of it as uh, preventive medicine. Uh. Pat? Uh, hi, dear. Hi. Look, I'm sorry to break up the fun, but um, could I borrow him for a minute and then I promise you he'll come right back? Certainly. Thank you. I'll be right back. Sure. Faith, I hear you've switched over to pediatrics. How's it going? Oh, I love working with children. They're so outspoken and honest. Pat, I was upstairs with little Don. And he's playing with those blocks that, that Frank used to have as a kid. And I just felt so bad because I was thinking, if Frank gets married to Jill and he has another child, he's not going to have any time for little John. My son's not even going to have a father. Look, I told you, that'll never happen. Frank loves little John. He wouldn't know how to stop, whether he had other kids or not. I don't want him to have any other kids. I don't want him to have another wife. Pat, I have to make one last try. Dee, hey, what are you going to do? Frank's not going to listen. I don't have to talk to Frank. I think what I'll do is I'll go to Jill. And I'll just plead with her not to take, not to take him away from us. Honey, Wait I... a minute, wait a minute. I called up her office. And they said that she's at the beach house. Maybe I should go over there. See, Frank's going to be spending the evening with little John. And I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't be here in the first place. And what do you think? I guess if, if you feel like you have to talk to Jill. Yeah, I do. I do. I have to do it for little John's sake. I mean, Patty, what do I have to lose? I can, I can borrow a car, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get out there because I can't drive. And I was thinking maybe you could drive me. But it's not till tonight, uh, after little John's had his dinner, and he's all ready for Frank. W would you do that? Okay, I'm, I'm free after five. Thank you. I thought maybe we could have uh, 
bite to eat on the way, it'll break up the trip a little bit. Yeah, it'd be nice. But we might get to Jill's awful late. I don't really think that matters at all. I'd rather talk to her when it's quiet. She doesn't have any visitors. <laughs> Do you think I should bring a picnic? No, no. Mm, that's too much trouble. I, I put some apples in the, uh, the beach bag apples? here for us. Apples? Good idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. uh, so tell me, what are we going to do after our swim? Let's take a long walk along the beach. Mm. Hey, holding hands where the whole world can see us. Right. Because today is a really safe day. Later on. Later on, we can even go out to dinner. Mm -mm, I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I'm enjoying the food. That's right. We'll have to pretend to, <laughs> will we? Let's just spend a very quiet evening at home mm. by the fire. <laughs> This week, he's not dead, he's alive. Our lives, if we know it, is over now. I have a daughter, Star. Where was my wife? After eight long years, the original Todd Manning escapes, and he's ready to take his life back. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Hi. Look, the new one. Ooh, I'd like to unwrap that. I see something tasty. Excuse me? Bring it to Mama. <laughs> Get it! No! No! <laughs> it's even more irresistible. Go, go! Three Musketeers now has more chocolate taste than before. Hi! Three Musketeers, now with a new, richer chocolate taste. You can't dance or you don't like to dance? One in five relationships now begin on an online dating site. My daughter's like, you have to be pretending that you're this bad. <laughs> Match.com. More dates, more relationships, and more marriages than any other site. Start for free today. Only YoPlay Original has twice the calcium of the leading yogurt. That's 50% of the daily value. Pass on the news and make sure you and everyone you know is getting the calcium they need. They've come from all over. Real football players. Moms. Cops from Massachusetts. NYC. Kansas. To the edge of the earth. We're in the Sahara, yo. Starting Thursday, June 23rd, 13 teams will attempt the impossible. Guys, I'm not looking down. From Mark Burnett, executive producer of Survivor. It'd be humiliating to lose to a blind guy. Comes the most epic competition ever. This is crazy. ABC's Expedition Impossible premieres Thursday, June 23rd on ABC. Hey, Mary, you were beautiful on the news tonight. A terrific show. Thanks. Hey, that rent strike story was really good, especially the interview with the two tenants. You're turning into quite a news person, kiddo. Mm, do me a favor and tell that to my husband next time you see him. OK. That's no big deal. It's just that Jack doesn't share your interest in my work. His editor's just given him a wonderful assignment, and he's gone down to Washington to research it. Maybe he's back in his hotel room by now. I'll charge the call to my home phone. Hey, tell him you were good on that news tonight. What's keeping Dee? Half an hour ago, all she had to do was run a comb through her hair. You didn't take that literally, did you, Patrick? I'm surprised at you. I thought she was kind of anxious to get started on this errand of hers. Jeff told me where you were staying. I've been calling all day. Been at the Library of Congress all day. You get locked in? Yep. I'll do a lot more tonight. Can't you take a break? I don't want to. I just came back to change my shirt. It's very hot here. I hope the hotel's air conditioned. Yeah. What time did you get in? A little uh, after six. Jack, I wish I could be there with you. Well, uh, you have your work. I know that comes first. Honey, my work just got in the way this time. I had responsibilities I couldn't duck. But I do love you, and I'd give anything if we could spend the night together. I don't like sleeping alone. Well, this, uh, this bed isn't nearly as nice as ours. Well, if you're in it, I want to be there, too. Mary, sorry I slammed out of the apartment last night. 
Oh, I've been so alone. <laughs> Me too. I hate being here alone. You do? That's uh, awful. You know, I used to have a good time on trips like this. I'd make my own schedule. I'd go to some quiet place, eat dinner, and go over my notes. I can't do it now. I miss you. Oh, I miss you. It's sad, but it's kind of wonderful, too. You really are changing. I keep telling you that. Yes, and Alex says so, too. We had a long talk about you this morning. Well, when did you find time to discuss me with Alex? I thought you had so much to do at Channel R. Well, I just dropped by his office on my way to work. Personal visit, no less. Well, I thought I owed him a personal apology after the scene you made last night. Didn't owe him anything. Yeah, that's what he said. He also told me you'd mellowed quite a bit. Is that right? And he meant it in the nicest possible way. So uh, you and Alex sat around and dissected me, huh? Jack, Alex is one of your biggest fans. Mm -hmm. Look, I, uh, I don't much care for the idea of my wife running around apologizing for my behavior. Honey, he's an old friend, and he understands you a lot better than I thought. Mm -hmm, thanks, but I'm not interested in being analyzed by you and Alex McLean or by anybody else. We didn't analyze you. We couldn't, because you defy analysis. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean that. Okay. Let's forget the whole conversation. I gotta go. Give me a call when you get a chance. Yeah. So long. So long. Problems? Thought so. Can I do anything for help? I'm afraid not, Karen. Uh, Kevin, if Frank comes through this way, just tell him little John is waiting for him upstairs. Hi. Hi. Where are you off to? Oh, well, I have some business to take care of. And Pat is driving me there. And if I'm really lucky, I get dinner along the way. Yeah, right. Let's go. Excuse me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Kevin, where are Mother and Bella? Oh, your, your father's with the salesman, and, uh, and Maeve is upstairs, resting. Oh, her back's still bothering her, huh? I'll go up and see if she's still awake. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley and All My Children. Only on SoapNet. Taylor loves EJ. I can't get you out of my heart. But so does Nicole. You act like we're soulmates in love. And if she can't be with him, get out of Salem or EJ goes to jail. She'll see to it. No one can. Watch Days of Our Lives weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. This week on All New Views, Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson on the royal snub, her daughter's hat, and her reality show. Plus Mad Men vixen Christina Hendricks. Then teen heartthrob Nick Jonas. And rapper Ice-T with his wife Coco. This week on All New Views on ABC. Got to be on your game today, honey. You bet. Nice move, Brittany. Nice move. Does Tyler look a little slow? Well, kids are what they eat. <laughs> What's Brittany been doing? She's been drinking Pediasure Sidekicks. Great tasting Pediasure Sidekicks with seven grams of protein and three grams of fiber from Pediasure, the number one pediatrician recommended brand. Pediasure Sidekicks, an extra kick of nutrition. I'm Chef Michael, and my dog Bailey and I love to hang out in the kitchen. You love the aroma of beef tenderloin, don't you? You inspired a very special dog food. Chef Michael's canine creations. Chef inspired, dog desired. I'm Joanna from Texas. I lost 34 pounds. I'm Adam from Colorado. I lost 35 pounds. I'm Allison from Texas. I lost 40 pounds with HydroxyCut. HydroxyCut and HydroxyCut drink mix. Lose weight. Start now. She's been a friend, the mother of your children, a soulmate. Isn't it time to let that special someone know exactly how you feel? Give her the gift she always wanted. Give her a polio vaccine. It's perfect. Whatever cause you're passionate about, give it as a gift at changingthepresent.org. 
We asked Bradford Anderson to name all the Spinelli nicknames he could remember. Go. Stone Cold Mr. Serpicino esque one, uh, Maximista blonde one, original blonde one, Prince Pectoral, Big Daddy Stone Cold the Goddess, the Divine one, Bad Blonde one, the Demented one. Oh, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Brusque Lady of Justice. I could be here for literally three days, probably. See who Spinelli will nickname next on General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. It's okay. We're not far from Jill's place. You with somebody? Fortunately, there is a guy sitting out on his front porch. He says the Coleridge Beach house is just a couple of houses down the road on Oceanside. Oh, wait. I just need a, a minute more, you know, just to get my thoughts straight. Do you mind? Mm -mm. It's getting late, though. And dinner took nearly two hours. Jill may be asleep. Yeah, well, I hope not. I don't want to leave without uh, talking to her. I mean, this is really my last try tonight. Well, then let's get going. Oh, just, just a second longer, okay? Moonlight on the floor. Beautiful. <laughs> that moon is going to watch over us all night. It's going to shine through the window and make us glow like a magic cloak. Mm. Ooh. Chilly uh, ocean breezes, huh? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Mm. Let's warm up inside then, okay? Okay. Ooh. Perfect day, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Let's have a perfect night, too. Still shivering, huh? <laughs> I guess it really is the end of the summer. better already. Mm. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna hold you close to me all night long. Please do. <laughs> I'm gonna make you feel warm and cozy. Oh, Frank, I always feel warm and cozy when I want you. Mm. It's the way it's always gonna be, my darling. I love you. No sense in putting this off any longer. Pat, maybe we could just, um, we could walk from here. Would you mind that very much? No, but why? Because it's a, it's a peaceful and quiet night outside. And it'll relax me a little bit. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think I needed this time to put my head together. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I'm going to say to Jill now. Mm -hmm.